Hey everyone, Double P here and welcome back. So today's trading session, Monday, November the uh, 14th. So uh, a couple of things, uh, I don't have my mic today, so I'm talking through my MacBook speakers or the microphone. So forgive me for that. <coughs> Next thing is I still gotta get rid of this Rona cough. So today uh, I attacked the spy. So let's just get over this so that you see it right there. Uh, margin account, full blown margin account, real account. Why does it say partially delayed data? No problem, come down here. Stock is in real time, Amex, New York Stock Exchange, NASDAQ, all real time feeds, equity options, real time futures. I don't trade it on this account. So I don't need it for this account. It's, the, uh, it's delayed, but I have futures that I can see in real time on other areas of the platform. Forex in real time, other in real time, so real time live live account. So I sent out a trade to my members this morning, um, and they should have made money. So I sent out the three ninety six strike put for the spy. <clears throat> now there was a little bit of confusion on the trade, so I do have to apologize because that was probably my fault. So. My Platinum X Power Option Trader members, if you did not take the trade, I do apologize for that. I did say it was a 365 put, so you have to look at the 365 put. If it did say, uh, if it did say uh, I'm taking the 135 call, you obviously have to use your head a little bit and say the strike was 365 put. Therefore, if you look back on your records, the time I sent out the trade, you would know it was, we're paying $1.35 for the limit order for the put. I know it said call in there, but honest to God, you have to kind of put two and two together, look at it and say to yourself, he sent out the SPY 395 strike put. It's a put, I'm going short on the SPY, which means and you're looking at the you're looking at the the limit order it says 135 go to the 135 come over here <clears throat> come over here 365 or sorry 396 strike put right here $1.35 now these expire cuz I said these expire today so don't hold them but you can easily go back and look at the time on that to see what the price was. It was $1.35. So I'm not going to really get into that. You kind of, that was my mistake, yes. But those of you that have been with me for a very long time, you guys and girls know it was a put. If I'm putting a 396 put, then the limit order is also a put. It's not a call, it's a put. You guys know that. Or you should know it by now. If you don't, you probably shouldn't be trading. So for the new people, I totally apologize. That was my fault, my bad. So you didn't know. So no harm, no foul, because you did not take the trade. So you did not lose any money. So <clears throat> what I basically did is when I sent this out, that was a 25%, uh, it was a 25% profit. That was my profit parameter. When I sent this trade out, so let's have a look at that there. So this would have been my out right there on this low end of the candle. That's all I need to get in and get out of that trade. All right, so you see it right here. Uh, where will we close at 396.65? And then out of the trade, quick in and out. Now, because the market was raging all day, and you can see it right here. I had to literally wait to take this trade. <clears throat> and I'm gonna tell you the reason why I waited to take this trade and why I didn't take the call. The market is too overbought over these last two days. This, this thing was just raging. So you have to be patient. I've always told you guys to be patient. So I sat here and watched this thing go into a yo-yo. Every day, uh, all like every every five minutes, I went on a two-minute candle today, and I sat here on a two-minute candle, and I just waited. I waited all day 
to be able to take this position. <clears throat> so I waited because you can see if you draw your support and your resistance, let me draw out support and resistance for you in real time. Watching support and resistance. This is the price action levels. Watching support and resistance. <clears throat> I'm waiting to take my trade. So let me open this up here a little bit more so that you can see it. I'll zoom in a little bit more for you. I simply just waited because this is algorithms walking up the spy all day long and I'm just gonna wait because we're in an algorithm loop so why am I gonna get chopped up and get chopped up out of this trade so I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna wait this thing hit multiple highs throughout the day and what did I do I just waited because the reason why I waited was because of this in the morning this thing was supposed to move a plus or minus it was like six bucks did this thing move six bucks today? Absolutely. Like the range of this thing was incredible. So I just sat here and I waited. <clears throat> you want to know when I took my position? I waited right here until I hit the last high of the day, which is right here, $400. Why did I wait? Because on a long-term candle, sorry, on a long-term, so let me come down here to six months. Six month, one day, <clears throat> where's resistance? 418 is resistance, right? Where's the next resistance point? 399.69. Where's the next resistance point? Let me put this over here for you so that you can see it. So on this candle right here, 398.32, so right here. So I'm mapping everything out, 398.84, 398.32, 397.17. So I know where my support and my resistance levels are. Right here I waited like a hawk all day long after my second trade, and this is what happened, right? This is the algorithms walking the stock down. This is consolidation right here. This is an escalator to the downside. This is consolidation right here. And this is a massive escalation to the downside. Consolidation. Escalator to the downside. All the way down, right? And then that's where I got out. 394.83, right? With this right here, here's the here's the here's the put option, 397 put, right? That's what you need to do. What did I finish out the day with this particular put option? Right there. $15,047. Don't copy, steal my stuff, right? This thing was incredible. How did I know to take this position? Because it's inside of the course. Watch. Watch what happens here. You see the 200? This is the 200. Right? And this is the 20. Back and forth, back and forth. The 20 is the dominant on this particular trading session. You see it right here, right? And the 200 is pushing up. So that's why I'm going to wait. I'm not taking this trade right here. I'm not taking all this because this is too much of a yo-yo, right? In this particular, in this particular uh, trading session. And then because it was expiration Friday, because it was expiration Monday, there's no juice left in the premium for me to be able to take it. That's why I have to drop down and, and, take, and take tomorrow's option, right? So you see right here, I took the, took the November 15th. 397 put because there's no more juice left in today's premium right there's nothing there like i would just sat there and, and flap flapped around like a like a walrus like like a dying walrus so i wait i waited took the position 
hit it right there and walk the stock down. Why did I walk the stock down? Because you can see it right here, right? Here it is green, the 20 turns over, turns yellow. The 200 flattens out right here. The 20 is moving. And then right here, as you can see it right here, because of the price action, you look at the price action, look at the sell side activity, look at the high, off the high, it's hitting, right? Look at the, look at the MACD with prices. This is why you use a confluence of indicators to help you, right? I'm looking at, I'm looking at the oscillator. I'm looking at the intraday momentum index. This is money flow, but it's oscillator. So this is measuring volatility of the money flow coming in and out of the position. This is the intraday momentum index. This is overbought, oversold on a percentage basis, right? And then we have the MAC with prices. It's telling me exactly what, where my price points are, right? And you see the histogram right down here. So that's how you that's how you go and short a situation. And right there, the 200 turns red, and look how hard that slope is down. And look at the 20 right down here. That's it. That's how you trade. So for those of you, stay fast. Watch this trading session. Get ready. Get prepared for tomorrow. Because tomorrow, because everything hit the high today and it was crazy, and then the day reversed in the morning all the way through the morning up until the up until up until mid afternoon around one o'clock that's when things started to go south right around two o'clock right and then that was just sheer side sell side activity because we're just too overbought right had to get some blow off happening there so that being said my name is double p i'll see you in the next trading session over and out